Hi guys, my name is Rihanna Varosa. I'm a sophomore at USC, student of Porzac Golf. Um, I'll do a little what's in the bag for you guys today. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me at Brianna.Navarosa on Instagram. Okay, so now we're gonna start with the wedges. Um, I'm with Titleist and I have the 58, 54, and 50. As you can tell, they're a little worn out, I've had them for a while. Um, they all have the same grind and bounce, so I'll make sure that I get a lot of spin on it. And so I'll hit a couple 58 for you guys. Um, I think the one tip that I would give to the viewers is that find a good base for your yardage. Like for me, my hip line is my 50 yards, and from there I just go lower or higher. And I think that's helped my short game a lot, especially me being kind of on the smaller side and I need to use my short game a lot. Um, I would say find a base and stick with it. So. I'm going to hit a couple 50-ish uh, yards for you guys. So moving on to the irons. Um, again, I play with tight list. I have the T200s. Um, they're fairly new. I got them reshafted as well. Um, I play the steel fiber, 80 grams. So I just recently changed from graphite as being in my freshman year, I gained some speed and some power and so I moved up. So now I'm in between the graphite and steel shafts. So I have a couple of seven irons for you guys. Um, so basically I just, some small checkpoints, just some review points. I uh, got to get more over it, got to make sure that I'm posted up on this side and that my backswing, that my left shoulder is over my right foot and then going back together and then he gave me a drill today, the famous Hideki drill where I stop up here to keep my body moving together. So, see if I could do that. Yeah. Let me see one more. Let me see the Hideki. Hideki drill, okay. Not too bad. That's like, that's solid enough. Yeah. Um, so again, my hybrid's a Titleist. Um, TS2. Uh, I played at 12, 21 degrees, and this is the only hybrid I have in my bag. All my woods and drivers is a uh, ping. I just found that I have more power and more distance with it, which I really need. Um, I have the G425s, and then same with the driver. Um, I have the same shaft on both. They got Tor AD graphite design, um, stiff flex. A bit lighter though, I think it's about 40 grams so that I can still swing through it but it's the right weight for me. Um, this is a five wood, I'll hit a couple for you guys. The important thing or like the thing I like about my woods is that they go high and they land soft and I think for me personally it's one of the top clubs in my bag just because I'm a lot shorter and it comes in handy knowing that I hit it straight so see if I can do that. Okay. Yeah. That was a good one. <laughs> so you play during the week or on the weekends or both? Thank you. Um, so moving on to my, the big guy over here, driver, G425 as well. Um, I really like this driver just because of like the size of the head um, and how far it's gone compared to Titleist. I mean, I love Titleist. It was a great brand, but I just found it more, it went further at least. And then same shaft as well, Tor AD, Stiff Flex. Um, little tip to hit it further for the viewers, I think just move your whole body. Move through the ball. Don't be afraid to see where it goes. Just make sure you turn your body towards the target 
And I guarantee you're gonna hit it dead smack in the middle every time. At least that happens for me sometimes, but that's what I can give you guys. That one was good. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on to my final club in the bag. I have a Scotty Cameron. I have select square back. I got little 30 degree or 30 grams on it. Got a little lead tape just because my stroke tended to. I used to leave it open, and so with the lead tape, it helped me close it and square it. Um, got a Scotty Cameron, like a bit oversized grip. I think it measures at. The whole putter's like a 30, which <laughs> are pretty short. Um, and I do a little left hand low grip for my putting. And that's what's in the back. Cool, now that shows what's inside. Okay. <laughs> what's inside? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> um, okay, so what's in the bag? In this big zipper, I got a very essential sunbum sunscreen because as you can see, I'm, I tan very easily, we could say. Um, I got the straight putt no matter what. Training aid from Pours at Golf over there. He, brief 50, I don't know. Um, so this is coming very handy. Um, I also got another training aid from Pours at Golf. Yeah. I know. So, kind of the same sense, but you put the ball right here. You can use a little gate as well. And or no, you use the gate here and you put the ball here and you just, if it goes this way or that way, that means your stroke's just off. So this is coming handy as well. Um, let's see what else. I got, got our national championship badge. Uh, mm -hmm. And then that's pretty much it. Oh, and gloves. I got a couple gloves in here and scorecards in here from old stats that I had to keep for my coaches, okay. where I keep my total putts, how many inches it goes by, and all that fun stuff. Do you think there's like the, like, the most important stat out of them all that like determines scores, or right. okay. one that you value the most? Or like? um, I do think the thing that I learned being my freshman year at USC was you have to put down how many inches like further or shorter from the hole that you are, and I think that's so underrated because it's like, that's how you know what you did wrong over that putt. You know, it could be your speed, it could be your read, but as a whole, that kind of ties in how you can make your putting better. So that's what I think is the most important. Um, moving on, I just have some golf balls in here. I don't have much. I kind of just change golf bags. Um, I also got other stats. Um, ooh, I got these Augusta National Women's Amateur pencils that I got from playing with Porzak in the bag, mind I say, it being one of the best experiences ever. Um, we got my car keys, it's irrelevant. I kind of have, <laughs> I have a journal. Uh, if you read it, it's, it's gonna be okay, because sometimes you feel like it's not gonna be okay, but my friend gave this to me as a gift, and I just basically write whenever I don't feel. Do you write like life stuff, or golf stuff, or a little bit of both? It's a little bit of both. I guess a lot of big part of your go life is golf. Exactly, right? exactly. So I will not show people what's in here, but basically it's just rounds that I didn't do well on or just like like bad days and like maybe it's a bit of both. So usually my bad day is just a bad round of golf. But Does that help you like process some of the uh, negative emotions? Like does yeah. it help, like, get stuff out? Mm -hmm. you know? It just, it definitely helps me like let stuff go and I think that's what I learned I think over the years playing golf so much was like you just don't let those that stuff go so I mean instead of letting it affect you for the rest of your day or like week just write it down or I don't know scream if you have to but just like for me writing it down just lets it go better so yeah so that's in that pocket um I got rangefinder batteries I have a rangefinder right here at Bushnell um I know. Um, these are rechargeable, by the way. You can recharge them. Um, very important to me is the chapstick because uh, my lips get super chapped over 
the course of the round and my coach gave it to me. So thank you, Katie, for this. Um, I also got the national championship uh, tag or whatever that I used to put on like my hat or my skirt. And that was at Greyhawk this year. It was a great course and hopefully we'll be there next year. Hopefully we'll win it. Um, I also got this. It's just a dip fixer. There used to be a Augusta ball marker oh. here. So yeah, sorry about that guys. <laughs> um, ball marker or you know, ball lineup. And then I dropped this earlier, but these are pretty much some of like, this is my carry distance for my clubs through my lob wedge. So I 58 through my six iron. And I mean, sometimes it varies, but every Monday at school we'd have a track man out and we'd see how much our distance has changed. And we bring these little things into our yardage books at tournaments and yeah. So let's see what else. I'm not sure if I have anything else, but. I have leftover <laughs> cliff bars. That's my go-to snack on the course. Um, do, you, uh, do you eat and drink? Like, is that a conscious thing for you, or, or is it more of a spontaneous thing when you're out there? It's more of a spontaneous thing. I used to have this weird like suspicion that, oh, if I eat, I'm going to play bad. <laughs> but I realized that I need to eat in order to play good, you know, keep that energy flowing. Um, but usually when I'm out there, I'll have like three or four cliff bars throughout the round, and then like a PG light with water, or just some sort of energizing drink. And I figured that helps me a lot, especially it like being super hot sometimes. So, and then I just have like leftover like pin sheets that I had from tournaments. And then these are just ones from like regular tournaments, but at school our coaches would write like, be aggressive or avoid the left side. And I think that was really cool for them to do. You know. Yeah, for like specific holes where you could be aggressive. Exactly, exactly. Properly. Exactly. Um, and that's pretty much it. What's in the bag? Thanks for watching, guys. That's pretty much concludes the what's in the bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure, again, to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you could follow me at Brianna at Navarosa. That's how you spell it. Just in case you don't know. Um, thanks for watching.